So this is the MacBook Pro. 2 terabyte of storage, 14 uh, inches with uh, 36 gigabyte of uh, RAM, uh, 14 core CPU and 30 GPU. So let's open it. It's a very nice package and this is the Mac. Looks very nice and it's very cold as well. So as you see it's cold so I can leave fingerprint on it. And this is how it looks inside. So it's just at the moment it's starting. And it's hello. So let's put it on the side and let's see what else we have in the box. So together with the Mac I have the, the wire. I guess it's for charging, some instruction. To use British English as the main language, press the return key and uh, the charger so that's going to be my main development machine from now on and let's see how this is going to work and if i will stick with mac or we'll go back to windows i have installed all of the apps i need uh, for my uh, development on the new macbook so um, and done a few of the changes on the system so first thing i've changed was this uh, this taskbar, I call it taskbar from the from the Windows. I'm not sure how this is called properly. So uh, I made it a bit smaller, removed unused apps, and then uh, made the, made them actually bigger when when you hover over them. Uh, then also I group up some of the programs I installed for the development. So I just created a folder with all of my development um, tools, which is the Unity source tree. Uh, JetBrain Toolbox uh, because I'm using the Rider and Visual Studio. And yeah, so here is the Unity. Apparently, uh, the Unity version I'm currently using is uh, the Unity uh, 2022.3.2, and this is for the silicon. Uh, so it works very quick. And uh, what I can say is work is working much quicker when you actually start the game comparing to my Windows machine. This is because uh, probably my Windows machine is a bit outdated, but uh, this is a very smooth experience. So as you can see, just started the game. And this is, by the way, the game I'm currently working on. Uh, and uh, I'm going to make some videos about this as well and probably some tutorials. But for now, it's just currently in the development. So this is the Unity. Together with Unity, I also installed the Visual Studio. Although uh, I have read on the internet that the um, the Visual Studio support for the Mac will be dropped by the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, hope, hopefully it's not, but if it is, uh, I just uh, secured myself and uh, basically just use the Rider for now. So here's the Rider and uh, I've been using Rider on the Windows as well sometimes, so it's not a big change. And also I have decided to try out the uh, GitHub Copilot. So this is, uh, as you can see, this is the Copilot. You, it's very nice because you can actually ask questions about, the, about your code and uh, give you some very nice suggestions, uh, generating code for you, whatever you want to do. So this is a very helpful tool for now, but uh, I will see how this goes. Uh, this is currently I'm just trying for this project. If this is going to be fine, then I'm going to stick with it. If not, I'm just going to delete it. So um, yeah, so this is the this is the rider. Uh, also, I need some um, uh, some Git client. So I'm currently using the source tree, which is actually very good. Um, 
and uh, it has a lot of problems. Uh, it had it on the on the Windows as well, but uh, I just actually got used to it. And uh, yeah, don't looking for any replacement for now. Uh, I've I've heard some rumors about the fork as well. Uh, trying that one, but uh, I think I just got used to the source tree. So this works quite good. The other bit is uh, I'm also uh, finding uh, very weird in terms of the uh, some of the navigations on the Mac, but I, I think this is just uh, something I need to get used to it. And, uh, you know, after the time probably will be much better. Uh, but yeah, the quality of the of the of the system and then the display is 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 amazing is everything looks different even the text on the screen uh, i also purchased some of the apps uh, i've been surprised actually you have to pay for basic things like arranging the windows on the on the on the, on your pulpit uh, on your desktop so as you see currently i'm using the uh, using the magnet uh, app to actually make bits like that to just arrange the windows on the screen uh, works quite good but mm, obviously you have to pay for the license and uh, I also purchased some uh, some app to basically display the usage of my CPU uh, I probably need to add some more controls over here but uh, yeah uh, so that is it and uh, there was one annoying thing which uh, was uh, with the repeating uh, the key when you're typing so when I was holding down the the one of the key, I had like a pop-up menu uh, displayed straight away. Uh, I removed that. I'm just following some tutorials found on the internet and uh, remove it through the terminal command. Uh, apparently there wasn't anything exposed in the settings, system settings to actually uh, change that. So uh, that one thing which, uh, which I had to do. Other than that, I think everything works fine. I'll be trying this machine for a few weeks and see how this goes. The one advantage I'm having uh, by using this machine comparing to the Windows is basically you don't have to play around and you can release the game on the on the iOS devices. So this is something I'm uh, really looking forward to and uh, I will try to convert my game existing games to on the iOS devices as well. Uh, so yeah, that's a quick overview about the systems. And um, as I said, everything works very smooth. So we'll see how this goes. Do let me know what you think about uh, game dev on Mac. Maybe you have tried yourself or maybe you are uh, making games on MacBook. Uh, if you have any advices, any additional software I should use, please do let me know in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, please consider subscribing and leave a like. So I will see you again in the next episode.